For 27 years, Herbert Kelly worked at the Phenol Materials Processing Plant in Hamilton County. Many of those years, when the plant was secretly processing uranium for fuel in the federal government's nuclear bombs, and workers may have been exposed to deadly levels of radiation. Six weeks ago, Herbert Kelly died of respiratory arrest due to lung cancer. Today's Fernald settlement is designed to make sure workers and former workers like Kelly get some help. It calls for lifetime medical monitoring, government paid for yearly medical exams for eligible Fernald workers and former workers for as long as they live. It also calls for a new procedure for workers' compensation claims. They'll be ruled on by a panel of three experts instead of Fernald's former operator, NLO Incorporated, and the federal government. Corilla Kelly knows they made it almost impossible for workers to get workers' comp. It took her husband eight years. Kelly has fought so hard, so many, many years, so many appeals he's gone through. It would just been a miracle if this would have happened when he was before he had to go through all he went through. I don't want anybody to have to fight for workers' comp like that man has. Attorney Louise Roselle says the new procedure with a panel of three experts ruling on worker comp claims is a huge improvement. Those experts will review the claim. If they believe the claim to be related to employment at Fernald, then the claim will not be fought by either NLO or the government. That's not to say that the Ohio Industrial Commission could not fight the claim, but it means at least the employer and the United States government will not be fighting the claim. Today's settlement also calls for a fund of $15 million for payments to workers and workers' families. And the settlement allows workers and workers' families to sue the government or Fernald's former operator for injuries or diseases employees may have gotten while working at Fernald. Today's settlement is not final. A federal judge must rule on it. Stephen Hill, Channel 9 News.